guys, this is Lindsay Collins, the Theater Education Coordinator for the Arts and Science Center for Southeast Arkansas. And today, I'm going to talk to you about some theater superstitions. The theater has a long history of these kinds of superstitions. And today, we're gonna to take a look at why theater folk say break a leg instead of good luck. Break a leg refers to taking a bow or breaking the line of your leg. In a traditional bow, your leg bends, which breaks the straight line of a straight leg. So if your play was good and you didn't suffer any show-stopping mishaps, you would get to bow and thus break a leg. The phrase relates to getting on stage in the first place. In a proscenium theater, the side curtains, which serve the purpose of blocking the audience's view of the wings or the sides of the stage, are called legs. And in the days of vaudeville, so it's said, you were only paid if your act went on and performed. So, if you were fortunate and got to perform and thus get paid, you had broken past the leg and gotten on stage. So break a leg. The phrase relates to the idea of jinxing much in the same way that if you say nothing could possibly go wrong, the gods of luck will hear you and your hubris and surely strike you down. In the same way, the theater gods will wreak havoc on a production that has had the bad fortune of having good fortune wished upon it. So what's the worst thing that could happen to an actor before a show? Breaking a bone and not being able to perform. So wishing bad luck will befall a production will surely mean that good luck will follow and thus break a leg. Now, the problem is, as you probably figured out, is that there is no definitive origin of break a leg. There are even more origins of why we say break a leg, but the three that I presented today are the three that I've personally heard from actors and other performers that have stuck with me over the years. Well, that's all for this one, so make sure you check back for more theater superstitions. Thanks, everybody. Bye.